So, uh... What else can we show him? I mean, I guess... This? I don't know. What's that? I'm not in the mood for idle banter, right? Yeah, I'd imagine not. Okay, what about a picture of the boat? Huh. Who would've thought there'd be a photo? Did you shoot him? Um... What do you think, right? I don't know, I, I don't know, man. I'm, um... Because in the first two cases, when they showed the cartoon at the beginning, they actually show the person who did it. So when you see them in court, you recognize them, and it's like, you know, and it gives you that clue as a, as a player of the game to know who it is. But in the cartoon at the beginning of this one, it showed the person with a gun, and it was Edgeworth. So, are they suddenly now not telling the truth in the cartoon at the beginning? I mean... I don't know. It pains me to ask you this now. Oh my gosh, you know what I just thought of? What if... Edgeworth really did do it... And we end up winning this case? So we end up getting him off scot-free... The same as the killer of his dad got off scot-free... Like maybe, you know, and, and in some way he still got his poetic justice by killing the lawyer who got his father's killer set free. I don't know. Of course we will! Oh, are you fucking kidding me? If this would be an honor, man, who could have guessed this day would come? Not me. <laughs> Finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back? <laughs> for what? I don't remember doing anything for you. Never mind, I guess you don't really need to know. Dude, I want to know! My letter of request. Please give it to Detective Gumshoe. Well, I guess we should hit, this, hit the road, Jack. Earthquake? What? Well, it never rains in California, but it does earthquake. Uh, I'm assuming this takes place in L.A. Where's Edgeworth? Did he get swallowed into the void? There, he's on the floor <laughs> in a ball shivering. I guess he doesn't do so well with earthquakes. Ah. Oh my goodness. That's going to be important later. Probably. We have to get that door slightly closer to it. Okay, yeah, um... Remember that. Remember the earthquake thing. <laughs> That's so much to remember. Uh, examine, move. We're, we're moving. We're moving. Stop thinking. And just concentrate on what you're doing. We're going to the criminal affairs department. we got to give this to Gumshoe. Let's see how he's doing with that witness in there. See what she's told him. What's going on here? Yeah, you tell that asshole. What's wrong, detective? Uh-oh. Because, like, well, I mean... <laughs> no, but we, well... <sighs> shit, you know? Just shit. No, but the more evidence we have, the better at finding out who did do it. If you're so sure that Edgeworth didn't do it, we still have to find out who did do it. That somebody did something. It's not like it just didn't happen. Anyway, what'd she say? She said she saw Mr. Edgeworth... What? She didn't say that. Wait a minute, did she say that? She saw somebody fire the pistol. She couldn't be sure that it was Mr. Edgeworth. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, she's going to enlarge the photo. So instead of a big dark blur, you're gonna see a gigantic dark blur. 
Yeah, it'll drop the quality of might. It'll drop the quality a little more than a might, I'm sure. She could do that? Yeah. Great. Just great. No, but see, if you didn't do it, then we got nothing to worry about. And if you really believe that, then... Then yeah, we want to see this photograph. It shouldn't be something that we dread. It should be something we look forward to. Because it'll, you know... Whatever the word is, the opposite of indict. In in implicate. I was saying we broke this photograph, it should exonerate Mr. Uh, Edgeworth rather than implicate him. Yeah. In any case, she's going to be the one testifying tomorrow. Okay. What happened to the other witness? What other witness? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the other one that called it in. There was a cancellation? <laughs> Shit, even in the future, nothing works. You can't press the cancellation button. I'm afraid tomorrow is going to be life or death for poor Mr. Edgeworth. No, sir, it's not. We got a witness who says she saw the very moment of the murder. And we got a photo taken when the shot rang out. I'd say that sounds like a pretty unwinnable case. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love it when he looks to the side. It just looks so weird. It's so different from all the other angles of his face. <laughs> that's gonna be the that's gonna be the thing that makes me laugh in this LP when he looks to the side. Oh wait, 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 no, 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 no. Uh, don't don't you worry. We we got this. No 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 no. So we've already been through this dialogue. Let's see, get back to the presentation screen. A cancellation. You gotta be kidding me. Here we go. What? Wait a minute. Oh 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 oh. oh. Wrong command up. Do it. Do it. Look what I got. Hey, you did it, pal. Glad I waited till the last minute to file those papers. I'll rip them up and start new ones for you. Sweet. So that's it, then. Well, I feel like I followed this fairly decently up to this point. So there's not going to be, like, anything I forgot. <laughs> yeah, we did feel the earthquake. I was worried. Worried, we're fine. Yeah, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. That's right. Hmm. Oh, go eat. That sounds absolutely wonderful right now. Makes me want to go to Burger King and get two chicken sandwiches for five dollars. Why are they bringing this up so much? He was never that scared of them when he was in school. Huh. Then again, I was only in the same class as him for fourth grade. Okay, I, I'll tell you exactly what happened. Probably an earthquake happened at the same time as his father got killed or something. There's there's probably a huge earthquake that happened like back in 78 or something. And it, it's going to turn out that it happened at the same time as something crucial. And now every time an earthquake happens, that event replays in Edgeworth's mind. Or something. Karma. Are we ready to go on with this just yet? I think I'm gonna take another break here. Just hang on. I might stop the video here. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, we will see. Okay, so karma. That's a strange way to start a conversation. Manfred von Karma. 
He's the best prosecutor there is. Oh. That's why his name is Karma. He hasn't lost a case in his 40 year career. He is a god of prosecution, right? A god! <laughs> yeah, sounds like someone else I know. Yeah, really. You don't understand. I mean, he'll really do anything. Manfred von Karma is a man to be feared. That's quite a claim coming from someone who forges evidence. Oh, alright. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> um... Oh, times 20 now? I thought you said times 10 a second ago. Unless he got twice as bad. Well, um... No... Uh, I don't know, you know, I mean, I like Mia and all, but I'm telling you, it's creepy. scary how her boobs get bigger when, <laughs> you know, it's like, she's fine the way she is. No, it's okay. Nothing at all, nothing at all. <laughs> nothing of your concern. Hmm. Yeah, I'm eating some, uh, chocolate chunk cookies. I'm so sorry. I only got one here, so I should be... Dude, advance the... Oh. Holy shit, that guy... That looks like Mozart. Hmm. Oh my god, it's even worse than that. It's Dracula. Good lord, he's even, man, oh man, he's even got the judge scared. <laughs> Ooh, this guy's dead ass. <laughs> Jeez. It's my 13-year-old self witnessing Mike Barnes for the first time. It's coming back again. Which, if you've read my opinion on Karate Kid 3, you know exactly what I'm talking about there. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Nothing, of course. That should be fine. I'll have an order of fries while I'm there. Um, what's with this guy? Is he royalty or something? How am I supposed to fight against this? I call the detective in charge of this case, Gumshoe. Alright, 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 alright. This room is full of men right now. Just... Describe the incident now. Take it easy, man. Yeah, I'd be too. Please take a look at the map. Hmm. This is nice. It's nice to finally see. The murder happened late Christmas Eve, around midnight. There was one boat in the very middle of the lake. There were two men on the boat. And there happened to be a woman camping here on the edge of the lake, okay? At 12.10 a.m., she heard two pistol shots. 12.10. Then the boat started to move. You went towards the boat rental shop. Okay. Overhead map added to the court record. I like that. Testify to the court about your arrest. Now! Will we wait, Mr. Von Karma? Yes. Actually, I'm the one that's supposed to be handling these proceedings. Oh, shit. Wrong! There's only one thing you need to do here. You will slam down your gavel and say the word guilty. 
That is your role. Say I quit! Say I quit, Cena! Alright. Hmm. Okay, so a man called into the station around 30 minutes after midnight. We headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. That's where we found Mr. Edwards. I didn't suspect him of anything at all, but the next morning, a body was found in the lake. Okay, wait a minute. Hang on a second. Uh, it's something about. Uh, wait a minute. Sure, sure thing. Something doesn't add up. I, I'm not sure what it is just yet, but I know there's something weird about this. Okay, a man called. Okay, first of all, this. 30 minutes after midnight. They say the shot happened at 12:10. Why does it take him 20 minutes to get to the phone and call the police? That's what I want. You received a call from a man. I'm sure they probably won't address it. There's just estimating times here. But you said there was a woman camping there. She was the one who heard the two gunshots, right? Objection! Objection! Man, he's got a deep voice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's two witnesses here. Ah, even I knew that. Sorry, Phoenix. You missed the vote on that one. Testimonies were quite similar, though, yeah. Alright. Alright. We headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. That makes sense. <laughs> I'm sorry. He looked to the side. I couldn't help it. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Wait a minute, where? Where exactly? Yeah. I mean, even if he didn't commit the murder, it still seems weird that he would just happen to be there. You know, in the middle of the night. <laughs> Did he just slap him? Yeah, no kidding. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all. I didn't think you did, but... You didn't suspect him of anything even though he was out there in the middle of the night? I mean, let's be honest here. Here comes the objection. Haha, <laughs> what did I say? Man, this guy is never gonna be able to get it up and uh, again. I know. I was gonna say. Okay. Um. The next morning, a body is found in the lake. That means that after Edgeworth shot the guy, if he did, whoever shot him, they pushed him off the edge of the boat and left him in the water, and went back to shore alone. Okay, that that makes sense then. Yeah, I'm still gonna push it though, just because. Did you find any clues on the body? Yeah. Yep. Okay. The pistol bullet added to the court record. All right. Not that we can really do much with that, so we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. That makes sense. Um. Really? Hmm. I suppose.
Okay, I think... Now, what happens here is you can do one of two things. You can either, say, take that like I've been doing, or you can actually present evidence that contradicts what he's saying. Um, the only thing is, what do I have that actually contradicts one of his... Wait, let me, let me check the autopsy report again. One bullet shot to the heart, that makes sense. Taken automatically at 12.15 a.m. Well, I mean, he did say 12.10. Do I need to push that? had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. Let me check this one out, because I never did. Well, well, hang on a second, though. If the body wasn't found until the next morning, then how do you know it was Mr. Edgeworth that was even out there? Right? Because neither of the witnesses actually saw him. Found the murder weapon in the boat. Uh-huh. Okay, I don't think he would have been stupid enough to leave it there, but okay. Um. Yeah. The murder weapon we found in the boat was decisive evidence. Why would he have left it behind, though? That's kind of weird. Let me check my stuff again here. What was this again? Oh, that's the map. Okay. Um, I guess go on. Yeah, I guess so. Boy. I'm gonna try this. 30 minutes after midnight, the autopsy report says... Wait, not the autopsy report, the camera. It says it was taken at 12.15. So it's only a 15 minute discrepancy, but it's enough that I think it's worth a shot. The witness is statement is clearly faulty, Your Honor. Sorry, but I can see nothing faulty. Oh, damn. Well, I tried. I mean, it was worth a shot. Wasn't sure what else to do there. Okay, we headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. <clears throat> Did he say how long it took him to get there, or like if... Yeah, yeah, exactly, how long? Three minutes, okay. Alright, so... Get there quick. <laughs> what?! Dude, he's just... God! I've never seen anybody so uptight. My God. Like, like you do. Die. Oh my God. So much to look forward to these days. Ah, uh, well, we got something new there. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, what was I even saying earlier about them, the witnesses not seeing him? It didn't matter, because when the police got there, they found him, so... But, um, just... What, what was the holding on this again? <laughs> oh. Wait a second, wait a minute. A single bullet was recovered from the body. Weren't there two shots? Shoot, I don't have proof of that, though. Because didn't it take two pictures? 
Can we present this? I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna work, but... Your Honor, what do you think about the witnesses statement? Uh... I'm not sure I follow. Oh, no, no, no. Um, shite. You don't sound very convinced, Mr. Wright. Objection overruled. Bam! That's two. Okay. Yeah, see, so you can lose this. Uh... Let me push this one. I don't think I would ever pushed this one, did I? Oh, there are fingerprints on the pistol, huh? Really? Pistol used in the murder and the bullet found in the body. Yep. Huh. Shoot. Well, this is pretty open and shut if you ask me. I don't know, though. Ballistic markings. That's like the... That's how a gun... <laughs> Me? <laughs> what am I, ain't your damn secretary? Ballistic markings are like the fingerprints of a gun. The barrel leaves distinctive marks on each bullet it fires. You can examine these ballistic fingerprints to see which gun fired the shot. It's quite accurate. Mm hmm Psh. Huh. It's all too convenient. It really is. This is bad. <laughs> you're, you're telling me. Well, Judge. Almost decisive. It, it is decisive. Shit. Honestly, I could declare a verdict at this point. However... What? You wish to hear the witness speak, no doubt. Yes, I would. I am somewhat fatigued, and so I will take a brief break. S since when do you decide when we take breaks around here? You ain't the master of the court. Oh my god! This is like... No, I, I know, I know. I, I am, I am, I'm stupefied. I really am. 11-9. But 11-9 is really where I draw the line! <laughs> Sorry. What? Was he being taken? Oh my god, oh my god, what if... What if Misty Faye is the one who shot him? She took over Edward's body and that's why he doesn't remember. How in the world did you prove something like that, though? Oh my god. 